Hi guys and welcome to my channel. So as the title states, we're going to flash the stock firmware from the horse, which I think it's called the FRTX firmware. So we're gonna want to flash open TX to the horse. There's lots of information on it, but not lots to troubleshoot off of. There's lots of people trying to help people, and it's something really stupid that you would never think about checking. That's what's gonna give you trouble. And I'm gonna tell the whole world what's giving you trouble on flashing open TX on your horse. So if you're having trouble flashing open TX, stay tuned, because we're gonna get it done. I guarantee you that. So, I cannot have access to my internal memory or the internal flash memory on my horse. Since I already installed the STM32 drivers, which I'll, I'll reinstall them just to show you guys, but I cannot show you the internal flash memory because I cannot have access to it for the life of me. So all I did to back it up, I did this a few days ago. I've been flashing and erasing and flashing just so I can get it consistent to make a video on to show you guys on how to do it. So I just made a folder called FRTX OS Backup. So I took whatever was on the internal flash and just copied it to here. Once so what you want to do to get that to get your horse to read the internal flash memory if it's stock and you never you never tried to attempt to flash to open TX or nothing, you're gonna to want to plug your horse. Or actually, you're going to want to turn on your horse. Then you're going to want to hook it up to USB to your computer. Then you should have the, um, the SD card window pop up if you have an SD card inserted into it. And then you should have your internal flash memory pop up in the file explorer. You know, it'll just pop up. Boom. Okay, so it'll pop up there. You get your, uh, you get your stuff. You copy it. You save it. Once that's done, unplug your horse. Power it off because we're going to need it powered off for this step. So, and that's done. You backed up your horse, so you can always go back with a companion with a OpenTX companion. So, instead of fucking around with all these other programs, you'll be able to go back to it straight from the companion software, which is pretty damn cool. So, you're going to want to navigate to the FR Sky website. I'm there often because I'm a big fan of FR Sky stuff. So in the downloads, you're going to want to find the how-to on how to flash a horse X12S flashing instruction. You're going to want to download that. I already downloaded it to my downloads folder or just take note where it's going. So once you have that, you're going to want to open that PDF file. So mine's my downloads folder. Let's see, we're going to want to open this PDF. So it's going to go over what I just told you on how to, you know, save your internal flash memory onto your either your computer or an SD card you're going to put away so you can flash back at a later date if you ever get bored of OpenTX or if you ever you can't do something on OpenTX that you could have done with FRTX right now. The only thing is the screen brightness on a potential meter or, you know, on a slider, but that's not a big deal. So blah blah blah, you're going to want to navigate here, flashing open TX firmware. Once you see this, the second step here says download the horse open TX SD card files from here, HTTP downloads .open TX org 2.2 nightly dash SD card. So you want to click on that. You want to click on that, there you go, now it works. So you want to pick the first one, the one that says SD card dash horse dash 2.2 v004 so you want to download that i already downloaded it i'm not going to go through it again it's a few megabytes 29 megabytes to be exact so once you got that downloaded you want to grab a fresh sd card plug it to your computer all right mine's labeled open txc I already have stuff on it, so let's start from scratch. Let's go to my PC. We're going to want to format this uh, SD card. I'm using a 16 gig. There's no use to use anything bigger unless you plan on putting uh, 4,000 songs or something. You'll need a 64 megabyte or a gigabyte, sorry. So, quick format. I don't change nothing. We'll just format it. Start. Okay. Click cancel, sign format. So, format's complete. 
So now we're ready to build the DSD card with the from the root directory. So we're gonna go back to our downloads folder. You're gonna go to the DSD card horse 2.2 v004. So obviously you have to extract it after you download it. Once you extract it, you want to select all the files here. You want to copy them to the root folder of OpenTX. So you're going to paste that here. All right, so firmware's been copied. Or I mean, uh, we built our SD card, so that's all we need to do. Now we can safely remove the right here, eject mass storage device. Oh. So we're going to eject it. Windows going to close. You're going to grab your SD card. So, before anything, I'm going to have to prove to you guys on the horse. I'm going to power it on just to show you guys I'm running the stock uh, firmware. Welcome to horse. Did you hear that? Welcome to horse. I mean, horse. Horus, sorry. It sounds like horse when she says it. As you can see, I got the stock firmware, you know, I got a built-in model, so that's good. So now we're going to power your transmitter off, because we need it to be off for flashing to OpenTX. Alright, so this is off. The transmitter is off. Our SD card is ready. So now you can remove your SD card. You heard it? And you want to insert it into your Horus. Make sure the gold pins are facing up. So keep your backup files, put it somewhere safe, or somewhere safe on your computer. So put them put the gold pins in up first. So you want to plug this in. So now the SD card is inserted into the Horus with the OpenTX uh, sort of file system or the started file system now what you're going to want to do which is really 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 important I cannot emphasize how important this is Okay, you're going to want to find yourself a good high quality USB or mini or yeah I think this is a mini USB cable ok they don't all work Okay, I tried to use my GoPro wire, I tried to use a whole bunch of wire, the only wire, I even bought a new one which doesn't work, it was strictly for charging, I guess there's no data plus and data minus inside the wire, so I'm using my digital camera, I have a digital camera that had a mini USB in, so this wire works for data and it works for charging, but you're not going to charge your horse via USB, so you want to plug this in to a lead on your computer, so plug in a good cable. Make sure it's powered off. So if you don't get an audible sound from Windows, don't even attempt nothing. Until you hear something or... You either hear something or you check here. If it doesn't say or it's plugged in or nothing, just try a different cable. Keep trying cables till you find one that works, okay? Then you're going to want to download Zadig or Zadig, whatever you call it. Mine's in my downloads folder. The link's also in that tutorial or that uh, documentation I showed you at first where we got the SD card file. So we're gonna open this up. You wanna go to options and list all devices. So when you drop down this list, if you don't see STM32 bootloader, don't even bother trying. I've been trying for days and days and days and all it has to do is if your horse is powered off, and it doesn't show in here once you plug it in stop what you're doing, find a different cable till you find one that works like I said I bought one and it doesn't work so I'm going to return that cable because it was you know it was LED showing that it charges, apparently it was for data and stuff but it doesn't work so if this doesn't show, if STM32 bootloader doesn't show at all try different cables I cannot emphasize how this is important it's the cable I don't know why FR Sky doesn't provide a cable that works out of the box. They should do that because everyone's having trouble flashing to OpenTX. It's all because of their freaking cables they're using. 
So use a cable that works. I'm telling you, that's the problem. I freaking, I ripped out hair for three days trying to figure this out to have it consistent and all it was. I had to use my digital camera cable. So hint, hint, you can use a digital camera cable. Might work if you have a mini USB uh, slot. So I already installed the dryer. I'll reinstall it again. So you want to select STM32 bootloader. It's going to say install driver. I'm reinstalling my driver. So blah blah, it's been reinstalled, we're good to go. Open TX Companion, we'll find it right away, no problem. So now you're gonna open Open TX Companion version 2.2. Mine is uh, version N360, which is the newest one as of December 9th, 2016. So you're gonna wanna go in settings. Select your radio type to the Horus. Boom. All right. If you want to use mass storage device here, SD card once you're plugged in, I find it doesn't do. If you want to use the Lewis grip for like uh, telemetry and stuff, select that. Make sure everything your channel order is good. I use throttle, aileron, elevator, rudder, mode two, and the SD structure path I just put on the D drive. Or See, it doesn't even show because. Uh, but whatever. You want to push OK, then you want to push these uh, update buttons. It's going to tell you download the newest firmware, so you download that. Say, so I'm getting the Lewis grip. Do you want to write the firmware to your radio? You might as well say yes. But if, you, but if you're at this step and this didn't work, you have to go into your settings. Into settings, you want to go in this application settings tab here, and you want to enable use OpenTX firmware on nightly builds and you want to use companion nightly builds check these two off and push OK now when you try to download it, now it will download so now you're going to want to write firmware to radio, so you're going to select this we're going to want to load the OpenTX horse to uh, English we load that, it says it's not compatible, just click yes you want to write the TX, and there you go guys Alright guys, so flashing is done, you want to click close. Want to close this, you can't use companion to uh, make models or whatnot, so. so that's all guys. Unplug your horse from the computer, power it on, or power it on. Make sure we got OpenTX running on this. Okay, so you're going to get warning messages the first time you open it. Bad radio data, you don't push Welcome anything. Welcome to OpenTX. Then it's doing, so it's going to bring you straight to the calibration screen. Just skip that. And there you go. You guys successfully, successfully flashed OpenTX onto your Horus. And all, all it was the whole time is that freaking USB cable, guys. So if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe. And if you want more of these types of videos, just comment below. I'm trying to make flying and how to set up some stuff, so. So I already know uh, how to do a lot of stuff on this uh, radio, so. If you have trouble, you need help, shoot me. And I'll try my best to help you. Thanks for watching.